health nuts welcome back to my channel i'm nicole if you're new here hello welcome uh so before i hop into today's recipe video i just want to say hello how you guys doing i feel like i never just get to like sit and chat this is why i like vlogs because they're so casual and just real and i feel like the recipe videos are so like formal and i'm like hi here's the recipe let's hop right in um, but yeah, how you guys doing? Hello. Uh, so as today's video I'm really excited about. We filmed four 10 minute dinner recipes. I was originally gonna try to do five minutes, uh, but then I it was just not enough time really. I wanted to do some really fun options for dinner that still took, a, like don't take a lot of time, but take more than five minutes. So we're calling them 10 minute dinner meals. And they're so delicious. When I was creating them with my friend Andrea, who is our new, uh, we just brought her on as our new recipe developer and copywriter. Uh, so say hello, Andrea, in the comments down below. She's awesome. And uh, we were cooking these up in the kitchen and they were so good. Like we're eating them, we're like, wow. This, this took 10 minutes, so good. Like some of them were less than 10 minutes. So I'm really excited and uh, I can't wait for you guys to try them out for yourselves. You're gonna like fall in love. On today's menu, we are making a chickpea curry. Next up, we have a cashew chicken stir fry. Then we have some cauliflower, cauliflower tacos. And last but not least, we have a Buddha bowl. All four of them are so good. I don't even know which one's my favorite. You guys decide, let me know at the end which one you think tastes the best. All right, let's hop right in and let's get cooking. First up, we have my creamy chickpea curry. In a large nonstick skillet on medium to high heat, you're gonna add in your olive oil, chopped red onion, garlic, which I'm just gonna actually grate on my little ceramic grater here. I've been loving this thing. I will link it down below. I'm also gonna do the exact same thing with some raw ginger root. I'm just gonna grate it to finely mince it. And then you're just gonna saute everything for about a minute before adding in your spices. We have some curry, coriander, cumin, chili powder, and paprika. I like to saute the spices just to bring out the flavor. And then I'm gonna add in my chickpeas. These are just canned chickpeas. I also have some diced tomatoes from the can, as well as some coconut milk also from the can. This is basically all your pantry staples in a pot cooked together. Stir everything together and just let it simmer for all the flavors to come together. At this point, you can also season it with some salt and pepper to your liking. During the last minute or so, I like to add in a couple of handfuls of fresh greens, whether baby spinach or kale, just to add in some extra leafy greens into your food and it just kind of wilts right in there. It's a great way to sneak some extra greens into your meal. To serve, I love enjoying this with some cooked basmati rice or quinoa, or you can even have it on its own. It's so versatile and hearty. I like to garnish mine with fresh cilantro. Although plant-based, this is a really hearty meal and perfect for meatless Mondays or to pack leftovers for lunch the next day. There you have it, a super flavorful chickpea curry cooked in a tomato coconut sauce with all the perfect spices. Dinner number two is my cashew chicken stir fry. Now when it comes to recreating my favorite takeout dishes, I always like to make my own sauce. In a small bowl, I'm gonna add in some honey, tamari, chili paste, grated ginger, toasted sesame oil, which I may or may not have a Costco size of it in my kitchen, <laughs> but it's my favorite thing. I love adding it to Asian stir fries. So I'm gonna mix it all up and then to add in my arrowroot powder, I like to first add in the liquid to the bowl with the arrowroot powder, whisk it up so it dissolves it before adding it into the large pot. This is just so you don't get any lumps of flour and it just kind of dissolves evenly. Whisk everything until well combined and set aside. Now for the fun part. In a large nonstick skillet on medium to high heat, you're gonna heat up your oil. And because we got 10 minutes, we're gonna use some pre-cooked chicken strips. You can buy this already cooked at the grocery store. I'm also gonna use a pre-chopped vegetable mix that you can also find at most grocery stores nowadays. This one has a mixture of zucchini, carrots, peppers, cabbage, onions, you name it. And then I'm just adding in some water. This is gonna help everything cook up and not burn without adding any extra oil. The trick to a great stir fry is keeping it on high heat while stirring consistently. That way your veggies stay nice and bright and crunchy without overcooking and becoming soggy. Go ahead and add in your sauce. Stir that in, and then we're gonna add in our raw unsalted cashews. 
and I love adding cashews. They have such a nice buttery crunch and they're just gonna absorb all that delicious saucy goodness. And to be honest, there's just something about chicken and cashews in a stir fry that I can't resist. You can enjoy the stir fry on its own or serve it with rice or quinoa or in this case, I have some soba noodles that I cooked up. And then for a little garnish, I added on some toasted sesame seeds. I know you're gonna love this homemade takeout version of cashew chicken, especially the sauce. It's so good, you won't even believe you made it at home. All you have to do is master the chopsticks and you're all set. Next up, we have my simple cauliflower tacos. We're first gonna start by steaming our cauliflower. You can buy it already chopped up in florets at the store. I just chopped it a little bit smaller into bite-sized pieces. I will link this bamboo steamer that I'm using down below in the info box. First, we're gonna prepare the slaw so everything can marinate while we work on the cauliflower. In a large bowl, I have some pre-chopped kale slaw. Add in some lime juice, mayonnaise. I like using veganaise, but you can use any one that you prefer. Honey for a little touch of sweetness and then just give it a toss until everything is well coated. The sauce is gonna give it a really nice, sweet and tangy, creamy dressing, and it's gonna go really well with the tacos. In a large nonstick skillet on medium to high heat, you're gonna heat up your oil, add in your steamed cauliflower, some water, and your spices. I have some chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, ground cumin, black pepper, and sea salt. This is basically a quick DIY taco seasoning. Forget those packages at the grocery store, it's so easy to make right at home. Give it a good stir until all the spices are well combined onto the cauliflower, the water will help it stick and steam. Cover and let it steam and cook for all the flavors to come together. To assemble, I have some corn tortillas I just warmed up on a hot pan. Top them with the coleslaw, our cauliflower meat, ripe avocado that I just cubed up, and some fresh cilantro. And there you have it, simple cauliflower tacos that are perfect for Taco Tuesday or for Meatless Monday as cauliflower is just a great meat substitute. Last but not least, we have my rainbow tempeh Buddha bowl. So we're gonna use that bamboo steamer again and steam our broccoli. So same thing, you can buy pre-chopped broccoli florets at the grocery store, which just saves you time when you're cooking a quick 10 minute meal. On the second layer, I'm gonna add in some frozen edamame. I just love having this on hand to easily throw into meals and it steams up really quickly. You can also boil these if you want, but I personally like to steam them. For the dressing, we're making one of my super simple tahini dressings. All it is is some tahini, lemon juice, water, a pinch of sea salt and black pepper, and you're done. All you have to do is whisk it up with a fork until everything combines and gets really creamy and you have a super simple lemon tahini dressing that you can put on almost anything. In a large nonstick skillet on medium to high heat, we're gonna heat up our oil. And I have some pre-sliced, pre-marinated tempeh strips here, which I, it's now my new favorite thing, I'm obsessed. And they cook up in minutes, about two minutes per side to be exact, until you get like a nice golden texture. I like getting the pre-marinated strips just to save you time, and they work really great for quick meals. Once the tempeh is done cooking, you can remove them from the pan. And to save time, you can use the exact same pan with the leftover oil, throw in some chopped up kale, and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of water just to kind of help it soften and cook up. Give it a stir and just cook it for a couple minutes until it's slightly wilted and cooked. To the base of this Buddha bowl, we're gonna use some pre-cooked quinoa. I always like to cook up some type of grain in the beginning of the week during my meal prep. Add your broccoli, finely shredded red cabbage, sauteed kale, edamame, tempeh, and then for garnish, I have some pickled ginger that works really well with this combination. And then just drizzle on your tahini dressing. I love making Buddha bowls because they satisfy my indecisive mind from having to pick just one flavor to being able to eat the rainbow. Now, usually I do a taste test around this time of the video, but I packed everything up in containers. A lot of you guys ask what we do with the food once we're done filming, and usually we just have it packed in the fridge. It's like our weekly meal prep, I'll show you. So right now I have the uh, cauliflower tacos packed in here. I have the Buddha bowls packed, and usually that's what Matt has for lunch. And that's what I'll have for lunch too when I'm like working during the week. Uh, so yeah, I won't be doing any taste tests, but I promise you they're delicious. I've tasted them, my sister's tasted them, Andrea's tasted them, Matt has, 
and they are all approved by the HealthNet team. So I know you guys will love them. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think is your favorite and which one you're most excited to make. Don't forget to sign up for our In A Nutshell newsletter. A link will be down below in the info box. I will be sending out a new newsletter on the 1st of September, September, and along with the giveaway winner. So if you guys wanna be entered into the giveaway, make sure you are signed up. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Also, side note, I feel like I'm being sick. I'm sounding sniffly and I don't have allergies, so I don't know what's going on. I hope not because our Health Nut Meetup is this Sunday, which you'll see in a vlog if you're not coming. It's gonna be so much fun. We're going stand up paddle, paddle boarding. It's in Toronto on the beach, watching the sunset. It's gonna be so cute. So I can't wait. And uh, don't worry, if you couldn't make it or you're not in this area, you can live vicariously through it in the vlog that will be coming up in a couple weeks. So. Thank you so much. Sorry for the blabbery intro and outro, um, but I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. I probably have lipstick on my hands. Okay.